King Island worked with Gravity Group to partially retract the park's oldest coaster over the off-season. Approximately 1,000 feet of track were replaced after the Red Racers' turnaround. Now, for the big question. Was the retract worth it? While at Kings Island on opening day this past weekend, I was able to get a front row ride on the Red Racer. I had to wait around an hour, which was honestly great to see so many people in line with a renewed interest in the Asian Classic. The coaster was running two red trains, but only one blue train, which definitely impacted the wait time. After boarding the trains, we traveled up the first hill and rolled down the 88 foot descent at 53 miles an hour. Every time I ride this great coaster, I realize how underrated the first drop is. The stomach drop really is no joke. At this point, the only problem I had with the ride was the jerk received while going up the hill leading to the turnaround, but it would soon redeem itself. Then we traversed the slow, slightly banked, nearly 180 degree turn, which is a nice break to the vertical mayhem just experienced a few seconds ago. We were about to head down the next drop, but then, little had we known, some sort of godly figure, maybe an alien, but most likely an angel, had blessed the remainder of the track we were about to endeavor. Just as we started the new gravity group track, I felt something. The rattling disappeared. My legs were perfectly still, as if the jackhammering had just vanished. The train, then gliding along in harmony with the buttery smooth track, gave just the right amounts of airtime, mixed with beautiful views of the rest of the park. Okay, okay, that was a bit dramatic, but still, the last portion of Red Racer felt amazing, at least for a 50-year-old PTC Woody. While you really don't experience any lateral forces on the returning section of the racer, the vertical forces were smooth, consistent, and overall, fun. For the little bit of laterals you do experience, like on the curve drop right after the turnaround, there isn't any shaking in your seat, and it's overall a much better experience. I'm very glad Kings Island worked with Gravity Group yet again to refurbish and tidy up one of their great woodies, and I hope to see more of their work in the future. I would like to see more of the racer itself receive more Gravity Group track. The company really does know how to not only build great coasters, but also to retract them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like down below. If you have ridden the retrack or are excited to, leave a comment about your thoughts. To see more videos like this, check out my channel and subscribe if you want to see more content about Kings Island, Cedar Fair, or just roller coasters overall. If you would like to be notified when I post new videos, make sure to hit that notification bell. Once again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.